All right, we're going to talk about Google Sheets. To create a new Google Sheet, you can do so by going to your Google Drive and clicking on New. You can also type sheets.new in the URL bar and that will work. Let's pretend this is a new Google Sheet. Um, to add a title, simply click up here and add your title, that's simple. And to start adding data, you just simply click on a cell and type. You can use either the tab button to go um, to tab across, and also use your arrow keys to move around the, uh, the sheet. Okay, go ahead and delete these. One of the nice things about sheets is the ability to manipulate your data and specifically to sort your data. So let's say I wanted to sort this by alphabetical order. Go up to data, I'm gonna hit sort sheet and done. Now you might notice the problem here. It's sorted by alphabetical, but this title row is part of my sort, which really isn't very ideal. So let's undo this. And a better way to sort alphabetically is to select the data you want to sort, go up to data, we're gonna go to sort range, and now we'll sort that range, that selected bit by column A. And now you'll notice that everything has been sorted, okay? Now I'm gonna show you one more way to do it just because this is also helpful. I'm gonna take, undo that. I'm gonna go up to the top here and I'm actually going to go to the uh, view menu, and I'm going to freeze that top row. Okay, so once I freeze it, you'll see the gray line comes in between. Now I'm going to go ahead and sort this by column A, and you'll notice that the title has stayed at the top. Everything else has done the alphabetical below it. This is also really nice if you have long sheets with a lot of data, a lot of rows, because as I scroll, notice the title stays at the top. Okay, so that can be a really helpful trick. Okay, what if we wanted to sort by column B? What if we, instead, instead of wanting it alphabetical, we wanted to see it um, in order of how many visitors attend annually? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select my data. I want, and this is another sort range. I'm gonna go to advanced sort options, and I'm gonna say to, to um, sort by column B. So now it's gonna show me from smallest to largest, how many people attend annually, and that's the way it's been sorted. Okay, so those are just kind of some helpful things to be able to do. Other things you might need to do um, are averaging, taking the average number of something. To do that, you're gonna again select what you want to average, and over here on the right-hand side, you have your functions button. Click on functions, go to average, and then simply hit the enter key, and there you have the average. Now, if you wanted to do it longhand, you could take a look here, so now it's showing us, this is the, the formula that we would use to average. The equal sign, the word average, and then in between the parentheses, we're going to say what numbers we want to average. So let me show you, let's delete this. So we're gonna go equals average parentheses. We want to do B2 through B8. And there it is. So again, you can see that formula up in the um, upper left-hand corner. All right, so that's average. Let's do the sum. So I'm gonna actually type here. If I remember that's average, let's also do the sum of all the, the visitors. So looking at B2 through B8, right? That's what I want to do the sum of. So let's go down here, equals sum B2 through B8. Ah, okay. And again, for that information, I also could have used the functions over here. So there's a couple different functions that they show right at the top. These are the most commonly used functions.